The shanty or the barong barong is a common theme among Pinoy artists because we see them almost everywhere. It is so Pinoy. And perhaps I suspect it's because most of the artists have lived in them or are still living in them. But whenever we think of barong barong, images like what Bad's convo car painted don't come to mind. These are happy colors. None of that somber and dreary rust, gray and brown of Malang, Manansala, and Ang Kukok. Convocar's houses also look sturdy and kind of presentable like an upgrade. I see a relic of the 20th century back there, which was um, considered a status symbol back then. Look at the houses in front. Do you see faces? I do. The, the eyes and the mouth here, and another set of eyes, and his alakot. The house in the middle seems to be turned to its side, like a kid embracing his father. The houses in the background are just, well, extras. Starting the faces further, the left house appears to be a mother to me with her pink eye shadows. She looks like she's leaving her family, which accounts for the kid crying to his father. In spite of the happy colors, we are seeing a family about to fall apart. Although this was painted by Alan Brando Gonzalez, I see it as a sequel. The kid has grown up a bit. He still lives in the colorful shanty community and is dressed as colorful. He's wearing his mask oh so wrong, but at least he has his shield. His phone may be smart, but it's showing signs of more than just a wear and tear. His fingers and toes are so prominent that they look swollen. They show the hard work as a result of manual labor, helping his family, whether in selling, with a job, household chores, or all three. He's still a kid, but his fingers and toes are a lot older than he is. He struggles to meet the demands of online schooling during this pandemic. As he grows older and bigger, he will no longer fit into the wooden crate he has found to be his classroom where the signal is probably better. Laban lang, kid. Perseverance is essential. Art is essential.